Okay, so we have uh, verified that our folders are correct. They all start with the letter H. We have our license running, so we have the TKO on the bottom right uh, screen. Now we want to create a new uh, database and a new bid that's going to be helping us to learn how to use the software. So we'll go here, File, to the menu, we'll go File, New, and then we're going to choose Database, okay? We're going to select Microsoft Access Database, and the file name is going to be your username, which is your FIU email without the at FIU.edu. So in my case, it's Faria J. Click OK. And now uh, the software will take uh, a few seconds to load and it's going to bring up uh, the next screen which asks for the bid name. We're going to create a test bid for the purpose of uh, learning how to use the software. So we'll call this uh, test bid. In the bid name we'll type the letters test and then the next step is to select the plans. We'll go um, and after we click select plans, this window shows up. We're going to click on the um, on this icon with a folder, yellow folder, and that's going to bring a browse for folder screen. We're going to click on the plus sign next to computer then we're going to scroll down to where it says read we're going to click on the plus sign of this read directory we'll scroll down until we see BCN we will click on the plus sign of BCN then we'll go into estimating we'll click on the plus sign of estimating and then we're going to scroll down until it says test we'll click test and now we will click OK that will load the images from the directory test into our uh, new bid. So now we're done. We click on the button that says done, create bid now. It's going to load those images and then this screen will come up. At this point, just uh, close that screen and you can begin looking at the software and playing with it a little bit few things to uh, do now is uh, the, the first thing we, we can see is that this uh, drawing is uh, rotated 90 degrees so we can go uh, image rotate flip and then choose rotate image left so that's going to rotate the image so now it is in the right orientation to read the text that we see in that drawing the second step that we want to do is to make sure that the scale is correct. So we see here it says a scale 1 8 to a foot and in the software the scale is also 1 8 to a foot. So that is uh, correct. Now we can learn a couple of things. We want to zoom in in an area where we have a vertical and horizontal scale and now we want to use this little dimension tool to measure something in that drawing. Make sure that the vertical and horizontal dimensions coincide. So now I can see that the scale is correct because I can measure horizontally and vertically and get the same result. Uh, to zoom, we have the zoom full page icon here and then we have a um, magnifier glass with a circle inside where if we choose that we can zoom into a small area. We can go back and zoom out. Then we have this zoom in, zoom out uh, icons. You can also click the control button and scroll your mouse. So go ahead and take a little bit of time to play around with the software and then uh, we'll go to the next step.